I'm Colonel Harold Sanders, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hey, you two coming? You go ahead, honey. I want to talk to these folks a little bit longer. Now, I said Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's only one way to cook Colonel Sanders' Kentucky Fried Chicken, and that's my way. We always use plump, young broilers, always fresh, never frozen chicken. It's cut in pieces, and each piece is dipped in milk and egg wash, then into seasoned flour, in which we have the 11 different spices and herbs for flavor. One more thing, folks. It's the only way that you're going to get chicken that is finger licking good. And I'd be mighty proud to have you try Colonel Sanders' Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mighty proud. Excuse me, Mona, will you please? <laughs> hey, look at there. Didn't I tell you it was finger licking good? <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you want Kentucky Fried Chicken, you have to visit me. The following program comes to you from New York in living color on NBC. Rydell Mitchell is nearest to you and Franco Harris across the way. Pittman in the center. Henry Brown is coming out and will kick it off. That is Butch Davis, number 40, standing there. Brown is a slot back, plays behind John Stagger. Well, again, Happy New Year, everyone, and enjoy tonight's 1970 Orange Bowl. The All-American, Charlie Pittman at the 3, the 10, the 20, and across the 25. And Penn State will have this lineup. Greg Edmonds, the split end. Tom Jackson at tackle. Bob Holuba at guard. Warren Kogel at center. Charlie Zapek at right guard. Vic Surma at right tackle. Pete Johnson, the tight end. Don Abbey, your starting fullback, number 36 is not in there. Franco Harris, 34, is in there. Lydell Mitchell, 23, Charlie Pittman, 24, and Chuck Burkhart going from a deep punt formation, throwing to Franco Harris. Across the 30 and out to the 32 for a gain of six. Now, quickly, the Missouri defense, which has a six-man front. Brown, Kuhlman, Vital, Adams, Miser, and Hoffman across the front. The linebackers, Holt, Lundholm, and... Weisenfeld with Fountain, Pope, and Davis deep. Second down, four. Charlie Pittman trying to get the first down, but then Greg Edmonds wide to the right on third down and about a yard. And this is Charlie Pittman picking up the first down out to the 39-yard line. And Mississippi beat Arkansas 27-22. Burkhart hands to Lydell Mitchell, and Mitchell gets a lot of yardage. Pittman set in a slot, and now they've got a double slot right. Franco Harris, and he gets about a yard across the 45. And on third and four, it is Mitchell, who is wide to the left as a flanker. Burkhart, look out, gets the ball away, almost intercepted on a fine defensive play. No score. Wobbly kick. And Staggers will let the ball bound dead at the 16-yard line. Well, broke most of the passing records. Hands the ball to Staggers on the draw, written down from behind by Gary Hall. To up top. Here's your offensive lineup. Shryock at tight end. Jackson tackle. Kelly guard. Wilson center. Kephart at right guard. The All-American Mike Carroll at tackle. And Mel Gray, number 21, at end. And this is Staggers again. And he's got daylight. Written down from behind as he crosses the 45-yard line. McMillan is 18, Ron McBride the fullback, 32, Joe Moore, 45. That's McBride the fullback with the football. And Ebersole, Reed, the All-American, Smear, and Hull, the front four. Then four linebackers. Your Coca-Cola bottling company congratulates the lunar astronauts. There is, however, just one little thing you should know about. Double slot right. Almost running into one another, Burkhardt and Charlie Pittman. Second down and nearly 10 to go. Burkhardt throwing, and there is Mike Bennett again. 
Third down and ten. Burkhart being chased. And Reisenfeld, the flipping linebacker, throws him inside the 15. Rush is on, and it's a bad kick. Could have been partially blocked. Picked up by Penn State, but whistled dead back at the 20. Zuri's football on the 20-yard line. 22 staggers. There goes Staggers again, getting down near the 15-yard line. Missouri in great territory, and now both of their linemen on the right side move. A legal procedure charged, and they bring the ball back outside the 20 again. Staggers has carried the ball seven times for 57 yards. And now he is in trouble throwing it high in the air, belongs to anybody. And <laughs> caught by no one. Him made probably the smartest play of the evening. Out of third down and 25. McMillan looking, throwing for Gray, who is double teamed, and nobody intercepts this guy. Henry Brown has tied up his toe and apparently will try a 52 yard field goal. For back looking again, swing pass, knocked away, brilliant play by Mike Smith. Gray right on third and 10. Roper throws, intercepted by Landis. The seventh interception. And knocked out of bounds at the 42 with 53 seconds to go. That sets a new Orange Bowl record. Seven interceptions against Missouri. Well, the scoreboard shows no time, but we've got almost a minute. Burkhardt is going to try to kill that minute, getting down to the 40. But what a football game we got. Burkhart carries again. And out of 17 passes completed, only four. Burkhart running backwards and falling down. You wonder whether or not he's actually going to kick it to them or out of bounds. Hope is there. The ball goes over the sideline markers and out of bounds. And that is the end of the ball game. Well, Al DeRogatis, we came on the air and we said the fine defense of Penn State and the awesome offense of Missouri. The defense of Penn State looked good, so did Missouri's, but the Missouri offense never really materialized to get a score. And what we expected to happen would be that people like Mike Reed and Steve Smear and Denny Oncotts and Jim Cates would be getting to the passer. They rarely got to Terry McMillan, but the unheralded almost defense of the Missouri Tigers threw uh, Burk, uh, Burkhart time after time after time and they were they were on him all afternoon. Joe Paterno in your picture obviously a very happy coach and isn't it a great feeling to, to end your career never, never having lost a game in college or high school. And Penn State now has won 30 ball games without a loss. There has been a tie in a bowl game. They've won tonight by the score of 10 to 3 over Missouri.